I'm Neve O'Connor and um, I'm the dance captain of Riverdance The Show. And my name is Porik Moyles and I'm the principal dancer with Riverdance The Show. Riverdance gave a whole new concept to Irish dance on the performance side and I think that's what made everybody so interested in it at the beginning and I wanted to develop that area of, of dance. For me I think being in Riverdance is the pinnacle of any Irish dancer's career. And this tour as well is kind of called the Grand Theatre Tour so there's so many brand new venues mm -hmm. in China and Riverdance are going to be the ones that open all these venues so that's exciting. And Neve and I have I've seen numerous pictures of the, the theatres and my god they are absolutely phenomenal looking. So we're looking forward to not just opening these theatres but getting to see them because they will be tourist attractions in their own rights mm -hmm. as well. In China two years ago for Christmas and we our Christmas dinner that day was McDonald's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we were crying into our McDonald's, <laughs> but um, we usually Skype our family home, mm. you know, that that evening, and of course they're there eating their pudding, pudding, <laughs> and you know, sitting by the fire, and we're very jealous. But you know, we love what we do, and we're you know, we understand that you have to make sacrifices sometimes. So we make our own Christmas, and at least we have each other. Well, well we're, we're we're definitely going to do a company kind of. Uh, dinner I'm sure you know where we all get together for for Christmas and we'll do play Secret Santa or something like that because they don't celebrate Christmas out there as much as we would here so we're going to have to on Christmas Day oh okay I started Irish dancing in Dublin when I was three years old um, my mother put me into Irish dancing my sister had danced and, and I used to follow her around the house trying to mimic her steps and, and try and do what she was doing around the house so my parents at that time thought well let's put him in and see how he does so for me that was at the age of three here in Dublin and then I moved to New York when I was about eight or nine years of age and having moved to New York my parents realized or wanted us to have as much of our own culture as possible so they made sure that we kept up with our Irish dancing and our Irish music while we were living in New York and I started dancing when I was four and um, my mom danced and um, my grandmother danced, so it's always been in our family, so it's family tradition. So myself and my sister went along. I danced for Inish Alga and um, danced there until I was 17. And then once again, I saw the Eurovision. A lot of my friends were taking part in the Eurovision. Um, I couldn't do it at the time because I was studying for my leaving cert. But I was lucky enough to get a phone call after the Eurovision when they were doing the full production of Riverdance the show and I got a call and I came in and I auditioned for the show and I've been there s since so 17 years later I'm still dancing away. Well I think it's it's opened most people's eyes, it opened my eyes to Irish dancing and what is possible and uh, with so many shows out there and in particular w with Riverdance you now see that it belongs on the world stage, it belongs to be known out there around the world as something that is an amazing art form and can entertain. So I, I think it's changed so many people's mindset about what Irish dancing was and what Irish dancing now can be. So um, it, And it's great that it's given Irish dancers an opportunity to become a professional dancer. You know, before you learned this and you, a form of dance your whole entire life, you worked so hard and then you got to a stage and it stopped. You know, this gave everybody a chance to to continue on dancing at a different level. So um, I think the Irish dance community was very happy about that. Absolutely, and it's taken Irish culture around the world. Yeah, opening night in Dublin in 1995. There were, you know, was the first time everybody was going to see the show, and um, there was such huge excitement about it. So I think that was my major thing, and I was so young, so it was so big at the time. Well, for me anyway, the. The biggest achievement for me in, in Riverdance was performing the lead role for the very first time. Um, I it was in it was on September fourth, nineteen ninety nine, and that's a long time ago. Um, but I never told my my mother that I was going to be the lead in that particular show. So I pretended I was homesick, and of course she loved the show so much is that she didn't want me to leave. So we we uh, she came out to visit me rather than me come home, 
Um, she came out with my father, and my father knew what I was up to, and he kept it a secret from her, which he got in trouble for. But uh, anyway, yeah, that was my fondest memory, is not just doing the lead for the first time, but having my, my mother and father present to see it, because really it's, it's them I owed it all to.